Hey, this is Dave Gardner from MagneticSponsors.com as well as the DavidGardner.com and many other sites. Um, and I want to show you how to add audio MP3 files to your WordPress blog easily today. I was playing around with this, so I just want to show you what I'm using. Uh, I'm actually using Audacity. It's a free program. You can uh, just look up and search online and get that. So I just want to show you a quick couple things here and we'll kind of get right into it. So with the Audacity, we're going to start recording and then I'm going to get right into reading my thing on my blog. How to add audio mp3 files to your WordPress blog easily. I was playing around with the WordPress today and realized how easy it was to add audio mp3 files to my blog. In a matter of minutes you can turn one mode of learning or sharing into another mode for your viewers to maximize their experience at your website. As of this blog post, I have still a software that I can give away on one of my sites called Web Audio Plus, which you can get at MagneticSponsors.com. Though it is geared for adding audio for statement, uh, excuse me, stagnant websites, not really blogs. With upgrades that WordPress continues to release, they've made it much easier for us to get audio onto our websites, and specifically the blog. No, this method I'm showing you here today in regards to how to add audio mp3 files to your WordPress blogs easily is based on my blog being one that I host myself and is current with WordPress version 3.9. I'm not sure how well or even at all, if at all it will work with WordPress hosted blogs. I use the GVO and Pure Leverage family of marketing tools to host my sites and you can find more about them at thedavidgardner.com backslash leverage or magneticsponsors.com backslash leverage. So think about taking action where others do not and go above and beyond to make your viewers experience that much better for them and allow them to be reached in multiple learning methods. If you know of someone who could benefit from this content, feel free to share in the social world. Thank you. This has been David Gardner, again from MagneticSponsors.com and TheDavidGardner.com. All right, so I'm just going to cut a couple things here. I'm going to get off some of that stagnant area at the end. And at the beginning, we'll save the MP3 file. We'll just test it to make sure it was working right. But well, I just want to cut some of that stuff out to shorten it up a little bit. And we'll just play here just to, sh uh, just to show that this is actually recording. How to add audio MP3 files to your WordPress blog easily. I was playing around with the WordPress. Today. All right, so there, that's it. I'm going to do an export and you can ask me any questions you want on Audacity. I'm not an expert, but I know the basics to it. Uh, basically, you just export that file. I'm going to save it in my blog uh, category. So we're going to use, uh, let's see, adding audio. I'll just show you how easy this is to WordPress. All right. So we're going to save that file. I'm not going to worry about any other titles. I'm going to go back in. Once this has been uh, captured and is actually exported into my folder, I'll be able to then upload it to WordPress. So the WordPress blog uh, that I made already, again, is, is focused on this. And I left some space, basically, and I said it make, made a statement, if you'd rather listen to this post instead of reading it, just click the play button, blah, blah, blah. So right here, I'm going to add my media. So there's a media button right there. That notice it has a little music icon and has a little camera. So you can add pictures as well. I am going to do a search, and I'm going to add and upload the file that I just saved. So uh, we got to go back into the davidgardner.com. I can find that folder and we will pull out that audio file, adding audio to WordPress. Uh, it was about one and a half megabytes, so it'll take a couple seconds to uh, upload here. And notice it will automatically populate uh, based on the title for uh, the file. So make sure you try to make your file titled something that, that is uh, good and might be searchable by uh, Google. So adding audio to WordPress. I'm just going to put some spaces there just to make it look a little nicer. Maybe we can get rid of the, the period there. But notice it says I can either embed a player, I can link to media file, I can link to an attachment page. I'm just going to embed a, a player. It's automatically in WordPress. Again, I'm, I'm not the expert on WordPress, but I do know a lot because I've been using it for many years. I believe it's something that they've added recently. I, I could be wrong, but it's just quick and easy. So that notice was replacing what I had there previously. I am going to edit this video that you're watching right now, and it will be in this location here so that you can actually see it. But that is pretty much the gist of 
uh, adding audio mp3 files to your WordPress blogs. Hopefully you uh, have enjoyed this video, found some nice easy information that you can help people learn with and I would appreciate any comments that you have. I'll leave them below or any questions, thoughts, as well as when you share this blog. I am uh, extremely appreciative and uh, I look forward to working with you someday. Thanks.